Hey everyone, what's going on? GameFace ZA here. Uh, welcome back to another video guys. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to go to the nether. How to make a nether portal without a diamond pickaxe. Now this is a lot easier than you may think. <laughs> um, it's a bit, bit of a sneaky way to do it, but it works just fine. So what you're going to need is some water and a bucket for lava. So at, at least two buckets, I would say. But I've got five here, so it's not really going to give me an advantage. That's just what I have. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear some space right over here. And I'm going to, let's say we want to make the portal right here. So I'm actually going to dig out some blocks in front just to help with the flowing of the lava and the flowing of the water. We don't really want that stuff flowing around everywhere and potentially killing us. That would not be a, a great start to the day, now would it? No, it would not. Alright, so I'm just going to clear some space. There we go. So we're going to need, at the very least, 10 pieces of obsidian to be doing this. So let's start. Let's get our base going. So we need two at the bottom. And then we can actually skip a block and go all the way up. So let's, let's do this. Okay, so we've got our first bucket of lava. Here we go, and if you place water on top of it, it'll turn to obsidian. Just like that. So you need to be near a a bit of lava, obviously. So you, you can do this down in the mines if you want to. That's perfectly fine. So let's actually... Is it two at the bottom or is it three at the bottom? Let's go check. So two, and then what's this one, two, three on the sides. Alright, I just wanted to make 100% sure. Now you'll see the obsidian generates in the actual source block of the lava. So we do that. There we go. Easy, easy. Let's get some more lava. There we go. Very nice. So now what you can do is actually build the frame around it. Okay, so we're going to plant another one. Put some water down. Oh no! Fail. Okay. <laughs> Let's protect ourselves there a little bit. Oh my word. Okay, so never mind that. <laughs> but, uh, it's fine. It's okay. We'll survive. Plant you. Oh, that actually took the lava away. Interesting. Okay. Let me just make sure we get it on the block above it. Here we go. Theoretically, this should be a, walk, a working portal. And there we are. This should take us to the same spawn as our other portal, I assume. Yeah. This spawned us in just like in the cave wasn't a great spawn and luckily we haven't explored too much so we should be able to find some new terrain pretty easily so let's go back to the nether I mean to the overworld it spawned us back in so I would actually go and break that one because this is where I want to have my my nether portal but yes the, you can see the concept there that's how you get a working nether portal without actually having any diamond tools just need a few buckets and that worked out pretty pretty well, considering we almost lost all of our, <laughs> our lava lake there. That would have sucked. But you can make it down in the mines where there's tons and tons of lava. Very, very efficient. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like the video, share it with your friends. That'd be amazing. Uh, just a reminder that I do stream on Facebook every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Uh, just Facebook gaming forward slash gameface ZA. That is my handle. So yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Playing some Minecraft, been playing some first person shooters as well. Some third person shooters even, mixing it up. And yeah guys, I'll see you, I'll see you around. Bye.